All right, so today we're going to have more of an independent day. We're going to be working on um, inferences and implied main idea. And the reason why inferences and implied main idea go together is because if the main idea is implied, that means it is not directly stated in the passage, which means you have to get all those supporting details, get them together, and you have to try to figure out what you think the main idea is based off of the items that you've read. So it's kind of like making an inference, an educated guess, right? So we're gonna be practicing that today in our guided practice, and you'll be um, learning about it and practicing that in an ed puzzle as well. So in the guided practice, let's do this together. It says directions, read passage one, and then respond to the questions. Each question will ask you to make a logical inference based on textual details. Explain your answer by referencing the text. It says, every day after work, Paul took his muddy boots off on the steps of the front porch. Alice would have a fit if the boots made it so far as the welcome mat. He then took off his dusty overalls and threw them into a plastic garbage bag. Alice left a new garbage bag tied to the porch railing for him every morning. On his way in the house, he dropped the garbage bag off at the washing machine and went straight up the stairs to the shower as he was instructed. He would eat dinner with her after he was presentable, as Alice had often said. So let's make an inference. Let's make an educated guess. So based off of the details that we read in here, what type of a job does Paul have? Like, what does he do? They said that he had to take off his dusty overalls and they talked about taking off his muddy boots. So which job would best fit the muddy boots and dusty overalls? A, he works at a car dealership. B, he works at a grocery store. C, he works in an office building. Or D, he works at construction sites. What do you think? And based off of the clues that they gave us and the supporting details, I would say D is the best answer. Number two, which activity would Alice find the most uncomfortable? So if I go back to the reading passage and figure out what they said about Alice, that she would have a fit if his muddy boots made it as far as the welcome mat, that she left a plastic bag for him to put all his dirty clothes in, um, and she wanted him to shower because he was dirty from work before he'd come to dinner. So which one do you think would fit um, Alice's personality when it comes to not liking dirty things? So which event would make her most uncomfortable? Walking around a museum, reading in a library, sitting in a church, or going to a demolition derby? And the correct answer is D, going to a demolition derby. And if you aren't 100% sure what a demolition derby is, it's when um, you know different kinds of cars will race around a track or they'll crash into each other and then, like, mud will go flying. It, it gets kind of crazy. Um, so she would definitely probably not like to go to a demolition derby. Number three, which most likely describes Paul and Alice's relationship? They are brother and sister, they are mother and son, they are best friends, they are husband and wife. What do you think the best answer is? And it is D, they are husband and wife. Let's move on to passage two. Crack, thunder struck and rain poured. Max stared blankly out the window trying to contain his emotions that raged like the weather. He was beginning to lose it. Dropping the kite from his hand, Max broke out into full sobs. His mother comforted him. They are there, Max. We'll just find something else to do. She began to unpack the picnic basket that was on the counter and offered him a sandwich. Max snapped. I don't want a sandwich. A flash in the sky lit up the living room. Boom. Mom sighed. Number four. Which best explains why Max is upset? A, he's afraid of thunder. B, the weather interrupted his plans. C, he really hates sandwiches. Or D, he can't get any TV channels because of the storm. So we have to ask ourselves, um, you know, which things are in the text and which are not. So do you see anywhere in here where it talks about Max trying to watch television? I'm talking about letter choice D. And I didn't. So D would definitely not be the reason why he was upset. C says he really hates sandwiches. Now, his mom did offer him a sandwich and he said, I don't want a sandwich. Um, but when was it that his emotions changed? Was it right when she offered him a sandwich? When did things change where he seemed really upset? And it says, crack, thunderstruck, and rain poured. Max stared blank blankly out the window, trying to contain his emotions that raged like the weather. So obviously he was really upset about the thunder and the rain. 
And we're trying to figure out, was it that he was afraid of the thunder or um, was it that the weather interrupted, interrupted his plans? It definitely wasn't the sandwich because that happens later and he's just reacting to his anger that he already has. Um, the next sentences say he was beginning to lose it, dropping the kite from his hand. So if he had a kite in his hand and he was looking out the window and all of a sudden saw rain and thunder and just dropped the kite and got upset, you think it was because he was afraid of the thunder or because the weather interrupted his plans? And the best answer is B, the weather interrupted his plans. So they don't actually tell us these things. That's why we talk about making inferences or implied main ideas, because based off of the clues and the supporting details we find in these reading passages, we're able to find the answers. Number five, which most likely describes what mom was planning on doing today? And I actually remember reading this. Um, there, there, Max, we'll just find something else to do. She began to unpack the picnic basket that was on the counter and offered him a sandwich. So what do you think mom was trying to do today? A, mom wanted to chase storms to get footage for her YouTube channel. B, mom wanted to have a picnic lunch at the park. C, mom wanted to fight with her son about lunch. Or D, mom wanted to stay home and play board games. And since they basically pretty clearly said it in the reading passage, just because they mentioned the picnic basket, they didn't actually say this, but because they mentioned picnic basket, we know that her plan is probably to have a picnic lunch at the park. And he had his kite with him, so he was probably going to fly his kite at the park. 